guys. Happy Thanksgiving for everyone on Thursday. I'm Suzanne and this is our Tuesday Live. It's the Christmas tree edition. This one is gonna be fun and I hope that you have questions, but I'm, I'm also hoping that I can answer them before we get to the end of this. Um, we have here at Rogers Gardens a lot of trees. It is beautiful. It smells amazing here right now and we have a really good supply. So if you're considering getting a tree, please come on down here. Um, I'm gonna give you a couple of the, the regulations that we have here for trees when you buy them in store. We, uh, we can sell them to you and hold them for three days. Um, so that's 72 hours before they need to be delivered or picked up. But if you go online, you can actually order them and have a delivery set up for a little bit later. So be sure and check out rogersgardens.com uh, online for our e-shopping. You can buy trees, stands, and delivery. Um, uh, pretty much everything is there except for one tree, and we're going to talk about that one in a minute. But uh, first up, all of our beautiful trees. We have everything from small up to um, 14 or 15 feet, um, something for everyone and our beautiful, beautiful trees we have over here since we're, we're uh, pointing over here. These are our Blue Nobles. These are a special um, exclusive Rogers Gardens tree. Um, as you can see, they are bluer than this tree right here. Um, they are really, really beefy, beefy trees. Just gorgeous and um, I, I can't even tell you how gorgeous they are. Very, very unique, very, very different and um, just filled with lots of beautiful needles that are very, very thick, very strong. This is going to be a, a longer lasting tree for you. The Blue Nobles we have here are 5 to 6 feet all the way up to 11 to 12 feet. Um, just a gorgeous, gorgeous tree, super unique. Um, we've only had them, this is our second year here. Then we have our Nordman. So Nordman is my personal favorite. And um, things that come up when people are Christmas shopping are which tree smells the best, which tree lasts the longest. And um, it's really a matter of opinion. Some years you get a really good tree that lasts a super long time. And sometimes you have a beautiful, beautiful tree that there's no explanation why, but it doesn't last quite as long as you'd like it to. But Nordmans are a super long lasting tree. They have a beautiful silver underneath it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is so pretty. Um, they are probably not the most fragrant tree. Of course, they, they do have a fragrance, but not quite as fragrant as our um, next tree I'm gonna show you. But Nordmans are big and beefy and a lot of people who, um, who Christmas tree shop, they, they want to have maybe a little bit more of a shelving look like the Blue Nobles or our other trees. But um, I've always gotten a Nordman and I cut the layers in myself. I like to just go in and lightly prune it. Some people really like super full trees and putting their ornaments right here on the edge. But you know, if you want that shelf look, you can always take most trees, the Nobles, the Nordmans, everything like that, and put layers into it and it's kind of fun then you have some greens that you can put around the house as well next up this is our wild noble we have regular noble trees and the wild nobles of course the wilds have never been pruned like this nordman here has been pruned you can see it because it's very nice and full and lush we have nobles that are like that too really really plump and just filled with branches but we also have the wild noble these are gorgeous and a lot of people feel that this has the best fragrance um i feel like all christmas trees smell really good it's really hard for me to discern between all of them but a lot of people feel that nobles are the best this noble is great it has tons of shelving i grabbed smaller uh smaller trees here because it was easier for me to move them over here but we do have giant versions of both of these trees so if you want something bigger please know that we definitely have them in stock these are just so so pretty and again if you want to cut a little bit out then you have some greens to go on your table or your mantle um just a lot of fun back here back here and over there if you can see it a little bit 
this is new for us this year. Occasionally we've gotten a couple of random ones in our shipments, but this year we actually ordered Fraser firs. These trees are super, super popular back east. They're, um, I believe they're the number one seller in Europe. These are gorgeous. They have cute, tiny, short little um, needles. They have that little silvery tone underneath and they're kind of a really good cross between super full, super shelfy. These Fraser firs smell amazing and they last a good long time too. Um, there's just, um, there are a lot of people we've had customers asking us each year if we'll get Fraser firs and this is due to customer demand, we have them for you this year. Gorgeous, gorgeous trees. Last but not least, I know you're all waiting for this. I know you were waiting. This is our silver tip. Rogers is famous for our silver tips. And this year we have a great, great crop of them. I'm gonna say last year they were a little bit dry from all the fires and everything, but this year they're beautiful, lush. We have everything from small ones. Um, what are our smallest silver tips? Six to seven feet. And we have them up to 14 to 15 feet. They are beautiful. They are, you know, if you're an ornament collector, this is the tree for you. It really displays a lot of things. It can look super contemporary, modern looks, but it can also look very old fashioned as well, depending on how you're gonna dress it up. And that's something I want to address here. So a lot of times people will come in and look for trees and maybe they'll see something that isn't quite perfect. Maybe, oh, there's not a, a branch here. or Something's a little bit flatter on one side. Um, every tree is beautiful once you decorate it. Um, I mean, I know we all want to get that perfect tree, but the tree isn't as important as how you decorate it. It's, it's super um, fun to decorate. If you have a little area that may be a little bit sparse here, put something beautiful in there that you really love. You know, your biggest ornament or a sentimental item in there. These trees can all hold something really beautiful or you can um, kind of lash it onto the stem. Um, but I would say, you know, there is a tree for everyone here. And sometimes look over, you know, or overlook the things that may not be absolute perfection so that you can have the rest of the tree. You know, if 90% of the tree is perfect for what you want, I'm sure you can fill in a spot somewhere in it. And with that, I'm going to tell you what we have here for our trees. In terms of nobles, we have them anywhere from four feet up to 13 feet. We have wild nobles from six feet up to 15 feet. We have the blue nobles from five feet up to 12 feet. We have Nordmans from four to five feet up to eight to nine feet. Fraser firs here, we have six to seven feet up to eight to nine feet. And then these beautiful silver tips, we have six to seven feet up to um, 14 to 15 feet. Um, we also have tree preservative and we really, really strongly recommend it. It has been scientifically proven that if you give it a fresh cut, which we do right before it goes out the door and you keep it in water all the time, you use a little bit of the fresh cut in there, it really is proven to make your tree last longer. As long as you have that water in the receptacle at the bottom of your um, tree stand, your tree will last longer. Um, when you have a tree in the house, the minute you bring it inside, um, you know, with cooler weather, we've got the heating on, we've got fireplaces, it, they can dry out. So if you make sure that it's fully, fully hydrated from the second it comes in the door until the second it leaves, it will last longer. It's, um, it's kind of like tree 101, everybody knows. Keep that water in there. If your dogs or cats or guinea pigs or whatever are drinking the water, be sure and check it every day. It's, um, I just keep a big water bottle next to it and fill it up all the time. It is the number one way to keep your tree looking beautiful. Keep it away from heating ducts, even if you know the heating duct is way over there. If it's going across the room directly into your tree, that's going to affect it as well. Um, here at Rogers, we do have tree stands. We have beautiful rebar stands and we have a stand called Cinco. The Cinco stands, I think, are a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but they're not as sturdy and strong as the rebar ones. Uh, the rebar ones, can they see that down there by point down there? 
So the rebar stands have a big, huge water receptacle. It's bigger than the Cinco stands. It's got these uh, three strong legs. And if you need to um, straighten a tree, it's really easy to just kind of step on one of the legs, push the tree the, the way that you need it, and it'll work. They all come with little red rubber um, little things on the end so you don't scratch your feet. And um, do we have a question? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to pause really quickly so we can give everyone a closer look at each tree oh, and sure. the stand that you were talking about. Okay. So what we'll do, we're going to grab the phones, and if you can kind of just... We're gonna start from the left side and cool. we'll just go down the line okay. with the name of the tree. Okay, so this is a blue noble. And um, I'll just tell you a little bit. All of our trees are grown up in Oregon, uh, sorry, Washington State, Washington State. The further north you get a tree from, the better they look. Um, this is, again, part of Tree 101. But look at this beautiful, beautiful tree. Just gorgeous. Next up, we have the Nordman. The Nordman has the beautiful silver underneath. Super long lasting, really, really thick, really, really strong, strong tree. We have our Wild Noble, which has the shelving. It's never been pruned. It just looks spectacular all the way down. We have the Fraser fir back here. Short little uh, needles. Beautiful silver undertones, gorgeous, um, full look. I can actually the silver silver just a little bit if you need to get a better look at it because the silver tip is kind of crowding out my beautiful Fraser fur. That's great, thank you. And then we have, don't forget the regular nobles, the ones that are pruned, look very similar to the Nordmen, um, just with that beautiful Christmas tree shape, the triangular shape. And then we have our silver tips here. Silver then, tips are a little grayer, a little more um, kind of olive -y, lots of beautiful branching here, shelving all the way down. And could you show us this stand that you referred oh, sure. to earlier? Hold on, let me stick this in here. So this is our rebar stand. And of course, we'll have little red tips on the end when we deliver it to you. I'm going to talk about deliveries in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, we have these stands. Um, unfortunately, there's no water in the stands right now because I had to move them over here for this video. The water will go right back in them. So deliveries. We have an outsourced delivery service. They are available um, every day of the week. Although when you come into Rogers and you buy a tree, we usually don't have next day delivery available if you buy it after 4 p.m. So that's one thing. But our delivery service is really awesome because um, we use this service, we've been using them for the past couple of years. They will bring the tree to you, so it's going to be netted and bagged, and then uh, they will bring it into your house. They will set it up in a stand. If you have a cleared area and your stand is setting there, they will set it up for you. And then here's the important part that you might wanna try and remember is you're gonna pull that plastic bag down to the bottom of the tree. Tuck it down there, or uh, you know, beyond the, the stand there, and uh, put your tree skirt on top of it. Then they're gonna pull that netting off the top. The tree will pop open, you're going to enjoy it, you're gonna put your lights, your decorations, everything, ornaments and everything. Then when you're done with your tree, the beautiful thing about this is you're gonna take that plastic bag and you're gonna pull it back up over the tree so that you can remove it from your house without leaving needles everywhere. So um, if you can, just try and remember that plastic bag is there for you. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, so the delivery service, they do come in, they will bring it to you. They cannot go up any stairs um, and they cannot move any furniture. So. Keep that in mind, as long as you've got your area ready, they're gonna come in, they're gonna bring it, they're gonna set it up, and you will be ready to go. Uh, we deliver within Orange County, um, and we have prices here for you that you can talk to anyone on the outdoor horticulture staff. We've got a beautiful group of people working the tree lot, and um, I think that's about it. Is there anything else I've forgotten? Oh, actually, I do know, I do know. In addition to trees, we're gonna be talking next week about this, but we do have fresh cut greens, we have fresh wreaths, we have little bundles of greens, so if you wanna do a little decorating before Thanksgiving, please come in. We sell a garland by the foot, we have a cedar, we have a mixed 
garland and then we have a beautiful princess pine as well and it's $249 per foot for any of those. So um, are there any questions? Uh, presently, no. Cool. Yeah. That means I've done my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Didn't just hoping you. that everyone comes in and takes advantage of this. I imagine we are going to be crazy busy this weekend after the holiday. Um, just keep in mind coming in during the week, it's usually a little bit easier in the morning. I don't know if you guys can hear our chainsaws going, but that means trees are being uh, sawed and ready to be stood up. We are so full here. I don't know if you guys can see this. You guys can maybe um, show. We have blue nobles all the way up here to there. And then if you can sort of look over that way, you can see our tree lot and it is filled, filled with trees. It is amazing. And as I said, it smells beautiful. Um, one of the really nice things about coming here to Rogers Gardens in the evenings because we're open until 8 p.m. Although uh, we have last call for trees at seven and our um, tree lot does close at 7.30. It is a beautiful place to walk around here at nighttime. Um, bring the kids, of course the train is set up. The kids love, love, love the train. It is so much fun and our Christmas rooms are gorgeous. So, um, you know, if you've got family in town, come here, walk around, show them the place, and um, they will really, really enjoy it. Um, if there's nothing else, then I think, nothing else? Just some comments and excitement. Comments. Someone says, I had a, a Rogers Blue Noble, my favorite tree ever. Someone says, decisions, decisions, I can't decide. Gosh, and you know, okay, I may be like, my own throat here but we do also have permanent trees here so please <laughs> please feel free yeah we've got something for everyone the permanent trees are beautiful the the live trees are beautiful we also have some potted christmas trees for people who like to um buy a live potted tree bring it into the house for a week or so for christmas and then bring it back outside and plant it um those are also really fun we are so ready for you to come in. We also have our rogersgardens.com for our, your shopping experience. We have tons of gifts online. We have trees online. We have greens online. Everything you like, you can even set up delivery online. Um, we have our Facebook. We have our Instagram. We have our Pinterest. And of course, we have our YouTube channel where you can subscribe and see all of the videos that we do here. So um, I just invite you to come down. It's a beautiful time down here at Rogers Gardens. That's it for me. I will see you next week and we will be talking about our fresh cut greens. <laughs>